we wanted to come up with a way of, uh, of stopping um, severe bleeding. And particularly, you know, what got me interested in the idea was thinking about postpartum hemorrhage. So it's a huge issue, especially in low resource settings. So the idea was to, uh, was to propel coagulants, things that would clot blood, propel them through blood flow. The particles actually work really similar to an antacid tablets. So they're kind of, you know, really tiny, very tiny micron sized um, anti antacid tablets. And so when you put them in solution, you know, they effervesce, they release gas. And that gas pulls on the particles and also pushes the particles. And so that's what gives them their uh, their propulsion. So it's a wide variety of bleeding situations. I think everyone can relate to bleeding in some way. But some of the ones they're thinking a lot about are ones where, where you can't see um, you can't see the wound, you can't see the vessels that are damaged. And so that would include uh, wounds that are that are inside the body, such as in the in the sinus. So during endoscopic surgery, when, when, you, when you can't see where the wound is, but you're going with an endoscope into the sinus, um, I think those are the type of bleeds you could treat. You know, the areas that we're really focusing on are, are postpartum hemorrhage, um, so in the uterus after childbirth, where you can't see the damaged vessels, but you could put the powder in, into that area, and, and yeah, the particles could propel, and they could find those damaged vessels. And then trauma from car accidents or battlefield, you know, combat trauma is another area that we're interested in using this, uh, this, this agent.